On June 1, 2010, 25 conservation biologists from Bhutan, Nepal, Bangladesh, India, Malaysia, Thailand, and Russia convened at the Smithsonian Conservation Biology Institute in Front Royal, Virginia, to take part in a two-week workshop to explore ways to save the world's dwindling population of wild tigers. The workshop was a follow-up to a six-week program held in India in February and March, conducted under the auspices of the Smithsonian Institution and the Wildlife Institute of India with funding from the World Bank, in which the participants studied practical and field aspects of tiger conservation. The two parts of this program, known as the Training of Trainers course and a one-week executive leadership forum held in Washington, D.C. in April, constitute the first training exercises of the Global Tiger Initiative, a partnership between the Smithsonian Institution, the World Bank, and a number of international conservation partner organizations dedicated to conserving the world's last wild tigers. During the first week of the course, participants renewed acquaintances and reported on their activities since the conclusion of the workshop in India. They met with Smithsonian scientists and toured the 3,400-acre Smithsonian Conservation Biology Institute facility in Front Royal, Virginia, where they were also staying. A trip to the World Bank in Washington, D.C. featured lectures from World Bank experts on the latest developments in conservation economics and finance and a panel discussion about funding opportunities available through governmental and non-governmental agencies. During a field trip to the Thurgood Marshall Baltimore Washington International Airport, participants observed wildlife trade monitoring activities at the U.S. Customs Port of Entry facility and discussed wildlife enforcement with officials from the Smithsonian, Traffic, and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Throughout the course, teams of participants worked with experts to develop ideas for future tiger conservation projects, training programs, and communication networks. The first week's program concluded with participants enjoying a day at leisure in the national capital, viewing museums, monuments, and other sites of interest. At the start of the second week, participants engaged in a lively series of conflict resolution exercises and examined how some high-profile human-wildlife conflict issues in the U.S. are being addressed. Participants spent a day touring the Shenandoah National Park and consulting with senior park officials there on park management, community relations, park history, and organization structure. A highlight of the second week was a public forum at the National Zoo at which a representative from each participating country gave a brief presentation about tiger conservation, then joined a panel of experts to field questions from the audience. In the latter half of the second week, participants learned about Smithsonian, federal, and state programs in wildlife monitoring, habitat restoration, and community participation in wildlife management from Smithsonian biologists and officials from the Virginia Department of Game and Inland Fisheries and Conservation International. On the final day of the course, participants traveled to the National Zoo where project groups presented proposals to their peers and advisors. All the proposals were highly collaborative in nature and will involve participants continuing to work together well into the future. The final day concluded with a closing ceremony that featured valedictory and farewell speeches by participants, hosts, and instructors, the awarding of certificates, and a relaxing dinner at the zoo's picnic pavilion. Mm -hmm.